toll board that's been imposed on the island and the uh, financial calamity uh, that has resulted in the closing of schools and hospitals. Also, hedge funds can be paid off the $72 billion debt owed by the island. Um, nevertheless, there's something that exists called the Puerto Rican Dream. I'm father used to talk about it. Puerto Rican Dream is not quite the same thing as the American Dream. The Puerto Rican Dream used to be this. Come over to this country, and you work somewhere, a factory or an office building, for 20 years, 30 years, whatever it is. Save up enough money. Go back to the island and buy a really small farm with chickens. The chickens are mandatory. And I thought this was just a dream. And then I met somebody who did it. This is him. The janitor's garden for Felix Rodriguez, I Bonito, Puerto Rico, 1997. The office building at 42nd and Lexington sat, awaiting the night janitor like an executive anticipating a shoe shine. Sixty floors mopped and waxed every night, five nights a week, 50 weeks a year for 45 years. 675,000 floors gleaming. The ammonia streamed its clear poison in a cascade, as if from the temple of Ammon in faraway Egypt, where ammonia began. He inhaled the burning breath of ammonia for half a century and did not die. He polished the floors for the polished shoes of industrialists while they slept, yet did not sleep with rum or wake in sweat. He stacked the toilet paper of lawyers after midnight as they stacked contracts and wills and did not quiver with desire for their paper. The janitor kept his garden every night. When the elevator doors opened and his mop slid across the floor, on that glistening spot, an orange tree would sprout, roots fingering through the tile. A swipe of the mop and another orange tree scraped the ceiling with its unfolding fan of branches, then again, till the hallway was an orange grove in bloom, brilliant with the trees of China, as we say in Puerto Rico. The scent of oranges banished ammonia, and the cleaning crew gave pulp and juice to their elbows. Not one sneezed or coughed in Manhattan's slush, walking home and to night shift. On some mornings, a secretary would report that the floors had been waxed with orange juice. An errand boy might find peels floating in all the toilets, or the day janitor discover an orange in a paper bag scrawled with his name. The lawyers snorted, blamed the menstrual cycle or the imagination of colored people, then went to lunch. Today, FedEx keeps his garden in the hills of Ayamonito. He is bald as an orange. Without the ceiling pressing down, the trees become celestial jugglers levitating orange planets. I climb to the roof and soak my beard with luminous fruit as he glances up from the garden leaning on his mop. 